These are the best passing settings in Madden 25. What you want to do here is you want to go down to passing type, and you want this to be on placement and accuracy. Passing slowdown, you're going to turn this off. Pass lead increase, this is the key feature that they added this year. You want this to be on none. If you put this on none, it will re significantly reduce the overthrows with freeform passing. That being said, the reticle speed is kind of up to you. As of right now, I'm using 15 out of 20. I have also seen a lot of good players use 7 out of 20, and I've seen some of the best players in the world play on 3 out of 20, and I've even seen players play on 20 out of 20. For right now, I'm on 15 out of 20. I think it's the best in the game. It kind of balances some of the things, and I just feel like I get the most amount of blue passes on 15 out of 20. Now, what you're going to see here is how we're going to use this passing feature. I'm just going to run some, some reps here, and what we're going to do is we are just going to Essentially, we're going to freeform pass by holding left trigger, and then we're going to steer it with the left joystick. So you see here, like if I want to throw this corner out, I can freeform it, and you see that it's going to give a little bit more bend on the ball and give me a little bit more accuracy. Now, if I did that same throw with just no freeform whatsoever, it doesn't lead him as much. He can't run with the ball after the catch as much, and you don't get as much bend on the ball. One of my favorite routes in the game is the speed out, and you can actually freeform this and really round it and make it almost impossible to defend in man coverage. The way you're going to do that is you're just going to, again, hold that left trigger when you're throwing it, and I'm going to freeform it down into the left stick, and you see I'm also trying to time the release. The timing of the release is really the secret to freeform passing. If you get a blue or a green, it's going to make it pretty much perfect accuracy. You're not going to have any kind of under pressure penalties or anything like that. So what I recommend doing to get better at passing is go into practice mode and literally just start throwing some of your main routes consistently to get the timing down for your release. Every quarterback in this game is going to have kind of a unique release to them. And so you want to kind of practice with the quarterback that you're going to be using. In regs, the best quarterback in the game is probably going to be Patrick Mahomes. And so I'm going to be getting some reps with him so that I can kind of learn his release. It's just kind of very similar to 2K where every uh, shooting, every, every player has kind of a unique release. That's kind of what this is, right? There you see we get a nice blue pass on that right side. So as I'm starting to throw different things, I'm starting to say, okay, you know, how can I time this up so that I can get a blue pass consistently, right? And it's just this meter. I'm basically looking at the meter. I'm, I'm obviously not looking at the meter when I actually throw the ball in game, but in practice mode, it's a great opportunity just to kind of get some reps and say, okay, maybe I need to release it a little bit lighter. Maybe I need, maybe I need to release it a little bit more. But if you, if you can get this down, this is truly the secret to passing um, in terms of like not getting overthrows and making sure that every, see there, we got an overthrow. Um, and that was partially because I probably threw the ball a little bit early. I don't think I actually had a bad accuracy. But anyways, this I think is super helpful to me um, is going into practice mode and just basically getting reps, right? Just, just getting reps and trying to lab how to throw things with these freeform settings, right? Getting used to the radical speed, getting used to the timing of certain routes. And I'll just come in here and literally throw a route over and over again. And by the end of the time, end of the session, I should be able to really throw this consistently, you know, against a variety of different coverages, whether it's zone or main coverage. So those are my freeform settings. And then that's also how I would advise going about learning how to freeform in Madden 25.